Hey, it's Andrew from Water's Edge Woods again. Uh, we wanted to talk about the difference between board footage, square footage, and linear footage. Uh, square footage is probably the thing that you're probably most familiar with. If you have a room that's 20 feet by 20 feet, you have you just multiply 20 times 20 and you get 400, so you have 400 square feet. And when we're talking about square footage, we usually think, talk about in finished products. Like this is a white oak nickel gap wall board. And when we uh, price this product out, um, we sell it by the square footage. But if it was in, it's white oak was in its rough form like it is now. This is a just a 12 inch by 12 inch square of uh, rough sawn white oak. We would talk about this in board footage. And the difference between board footage and square footage is that board footage accounts for volume. This is two inches thick, so we would. To, to calculate the board footage of this particular piece, we would multiply 12 inches times 12 inches times 2 inches. So we would have two board feet. This piece of wood was only 1 inch thick, and it was 12 inches by 12 inches, we would have one board foot. Um, also, this is a 6 inch piece of Eastern Red Cedar, and it's 2 feet long. So we have two board feet because if we took six inches across times 24 inches and divided by 144, we would get the number one, which is one board footage. Or sometimes we'd like to think about if you took, since this is six inches wide, at, at, once you got to one foot, if you folded it back on itself, you would get exactly a 12 inch by 12 inch square and one board foot. What's also interesting is this is a one by four of Eastern Red Cedar but it's three feet long, so this is also one board foot. So we would take one inch thick times four inches times 36 inches and divide it by 144 inches, and that would equal one. So even though these don't look the same by length or width, they are the same board footage because they have the same amount of volume in them. And then the last thing I uh, want to talk about is linear foot products. So a lot of times when companies price out finished tongue and groove products like uh, Aromatic Eastern Red Cedar, they will price it out in linear foot. Like this is, say we charge a dollar per linear foot. Well, let's say I'm charging a dollar per linear foot for this and a dollar per linear foot for this. Well, I'm going to need a lot more of this to cover the same amount of square footage. So it's not really an easy way to compare things. But it's easy to convert linear footage to square footage so you can know the pricing. So essentially what you do is you measure the face width of the board. This board is five and a quarter inches wide. So we would take 12 inches and divide it by five and a quarter inches. And that would get us 2.28. And that would be the number that we would multiply times whatever the linear foot price is to get us our square foot price. So let's, uh, coming back to our example, if this is a dollar per linear foot, we would multiply it times 2.28 to get 228 per square foot. Now, let's say this was also a dollar per linear foot. Well, the face width of this is six and seven eighths. So we have a different, um, so if we divided 12, by 6.875, which is six and seven eighths, we would get 1.745. And so then if we multiplied one times one of our price of a dollar per linear foot, that would give us essentially like a price of a dollar 75 per square foot. So even though the linear foot price is the same, how much it's gonna cost you to cover your square area is a lot different. Um, I know when I first started in the lumber business that these all these numbers and calculations are a little confusing so hopefully this video helps uh, y'all out there uh, make more sense of it thanks for watching